New at six now, the mom of a former UCF football player is speaking with us just days after her son was killed in a wrong way crash. The 38-year-old was killed after driving the wrong way along State Road 417 early Saturday morning. New 6's Jerry Askin spoke with that mom who tells us her son leaves behind two kids. I mean, it's my son. It's, I mean, I know Christmas is Christmas, but my son is my son every day. Um, and I'm going to miss him. Katie Merritt Sherrod is trying her best to keep it all together, but she knows Christmas this year will not be the same. We would have never expected or thought something like this would have happened to my son. Her son, 38-year-old Michael Merritt, died this past Saturday. Troopers say the former UCF football player was traveling the wrong way in the center E-pass lane on State Road 417 near University Boulevard when he crashed into a Honda Accord. Troopers say the driver of the Accord collided with the third vehicle. At last check, those drivers are recovering. Merritt's mom has so many questions. Michael know this place at the back of his hand. So what would have caused him to go on this highway the wrong way? You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, they're going to do a toxicology report. Troopers say the case remains active while they investigate. They say the wrong way detection system alerted FHP about the wrong way driver. The crash happened minutes later. This coming as New Six learned Merritt was a devoted father of two kids, an 18-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. His son will be graduating from high school in Palm Beach County this coming May. Those kids were his everything. Merritt played tight end at University of Central Florida, graduating in 2008. He was then drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs in 08, but never played in the NFL. Right now, as the family continues to grieve this holiday season, Merritt's friend and former teammate has set up this GoFundMe account to help purchase Michael's 18-year-old son a car, something he said his dad was trying to save up for. And mom said people are also stepping up and using this Amazon registry to help Mike's one-year-old daughter this holiday season. Merritt's funeral is planned for Saturday, January 7th in Palm Beach County, where he grew up. In Orlando, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.